Ah, good morning, people. <laughs> and you join us from a very windswept, murky Norfolk coast. Tuesday morning. Just did a pub stay over last night. It's one we found on search for sites. Great pub. Basic sort of pub grub. So we just ate in the pub last night. And um, I think we're going in for breakfast this morning as well. Make it easy. And then we'll get on the road a bit quicker. So yeah. Like I say, it's a bit grim, but still stunning. Come on, Rosie, this way. Come on. Uh, yeah, you can see up there. Just see where the vans are. Great park up, right on the front. Come on, oi. Yeah, perfect. I'll put the description and the what three words for the pub and everything. So it's a good stopover if you're this way. Right. Rosie's loving it. Caravan and motorhome site. It's nicely positioned, the pub just up the road. 
or just been uh, Norfolk Broads are just listening I don't know if the camera will pick it up but through there you can see boats uh, we were thinking of hiring the boat the weather hasn't been brilliant so on fire for now see if this wind drops stayed fine it's just it's uh, really really windy we're behind these trees so we're quite sheltered here which is good got the washing out <laughs> drying on the bike rack yeah just been the pub haven't we another night we just decided to stay two nights just to chill out a bit and yeah we feel like we're doing too much driving yeah. really it's not our first choice of campsites but it's fine it's nice and peaceful even though it's busy it is busy uh, there's no kids on site it's so. nice walking down to the yeah we've been down to the marina yeah um, Lots of boats, not more in, wasn't there? Because there's three more in there, 24 hours. Yeah. Lots of boats. It's ideal. £2 to fill your water up as well, for anyone who knows what that means, because they don't have a boat. <laughs> doesn't matter what boat it is. Just a pub up the road. Walking distance, yeah. a little cafe, bakery. Oh, yeah, there's a cafe, bakery. And there was a little shop that did all wooden carved stuff, which oh, yeah. is really quite nice. It's called Circus. And You'll see that. I took a bit of footage of that. Yeah. Some really nice bits and bobs in there actually if you want if you like that sort of thing. Um, guy in there really chatty, really friendly. Um, yeah, I think he just quite enjoyed having a little natter. It's a bit of a weird job like though, isn't it? I don't know, you didn't go inside, you see, inside there was like lots of wooden... oh, what was the circus thing about? I don't know. I think it was on that, you know, unusual stuff, you know, like in the circus you have like an unusual act, you know. A bit like um, the greatest showman, you know, you have all the, you have all the, it's a bit oh. unusual. But to be honest, I don't think it was that unusual, but it was nice because it had lots of like different, wooden, wooden exactly, yeah. yeah, wooden ornaments. So yeah, anyway, we're just going to chill out for the rest of the day. Do a bit of tea later, aren't we? Because we'd just no like course. to have a, have a bit of lunch. So we'll probably have tea a bit later on. Just got the chairs out because it's, although it's windy, we're quite sheltered. I know. We'll see. So, me tired, Rosie. Yeah. Me tired. Security dog. I need to get the brush and give her a good brush. Loads of dogs about, though, isn't there? Every, nearly every couple that you see has a dog, or two, or three. What a right mix of dogs though. I know, but it's funny there's more people have dogs than not have dogs. Yeah. That's what we've noticed. From what I have noticed is Rosie seems to look dogs that look like hair. Yeah. And if they don't look like hair, she's a bit suspicious. Yeah. Weird. Or if they've got very long legs, she tends to bark And I can tell you that. Anyway, we're going to chill out for a bit. Catch up with you later. So it's a good morning from a very sunny Thetford Forest. An absolute stunning location we've found here. Straight into the woods. And the sun is shining. What more do you want? Rosie's well, been out for a walk. Here's a caravan and motorhome pub site. But it's one without facilities, so there's no toilet or showers. But in a way, it's good. It's limiting the people that come. Mrs. P laying in the sun. <laughs> You're waving, Mrs. P. Just chilling out. Got the washing out. 
a bike rack. That's what a bike racks are for. But yeah, we came here just for the one night. But it's all gorgeous. We're actually staying for three nights. <laughs> it's just so peaceful. And if the weather stays like this, I thought, why bother moving around? Just stunning, all these pine trees. There's walks going off in all directions. Yeah, just absolutely stunning. So we're just having a proper chill day today. Just gonna get some brunch on. We're a bit late for breakfast. What time is it? Five yeah, to twelve. Five to twelve, so I'm gonna get the old Cadillac on and make some bacon and tomato sandwiches, toasties, that way. Might put an odd sausage on as well. <laughs> so, catch you in a bit. <laughs> 